Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another haul edition of Awaken Geekdom for the month of April. We going Yes, welcome back everybody. Exciting news in internet land. This very channel has finally crossed a thousand subscribers. I wanted to do an epic announcement and all that, but you know what? I am ambitious. First of all, thank you to 1,000 and some incredible individuals that subscribed, approve of this content, and want to see more. Your subscription truly means the world to me. It is astounding. You guys are spectacular. I, I, I am just, I am speechless. Thank you that everybody that contributed in the last few weeks as of this video for making that happen. Uh, my friend Nick, the Omni Bros, uh, the Omnibus Collector uh, Swap and Drop Community Page, that's what I like to call them, uh, Omnibus Cafe, uh, all the subgroups from uh, the gaming to the otaku to the crypto to everything, the Omniplex, everybody contributed in some shape or form. And even if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, don't worry about it. Just know that I am thankful that you like this channel you have found something that you like and that means the world to me thank you thank you so much I wanted to do a subscriber giveaway like a thousand subscriber giveaway video to reach this milestone but I I am so sorry that I cannot at this very moment now if you give me a couple more months let's say around summertime that's gonna be a different story and uh, so yeah look forward to that guys uh for that uh 1k giveaway but i'm ambitious like i mentioned earlier i want to keep going let's make it 2000 how about that but yeah every sort of milestone i guess i want to do something for you guys some type of special video but for this um i'm gonna do two things like i mentioned i am still planning to do the giveaway sometime soon in a couple more months and number two I want to do a question and answer video. I don't do these Q&As often. That's not this channel style, I guess. I don't know. If you have any sort of question a couple of months from now, I will group everything up and do like a massive Q&A. You can ask me about anything that you want from geeky stuff to personal stuff. It doesn't matter. I'm open to anything as a sort of a mini gift before we do the whole giveaway thing. So yeah guys, on to the haul. Sorry about the long announcement, thank you so much. We're gonna do books, hardcovers, figures, Blu-rays, games, manga, all that fun stuff. And by the way, if you see something you like and you want me to review it specifically, let me know in the comments down below. I will happily do so. All right, let's, uh, let's begin our haul with manga. I always like to start with manga because they're smaller in size, but they're just as cool as uh, their cousins from the West. My Hero Academia, Volume 12. To Your Eternity, Volume 2. I did a review on Volume 1 on this channel, if you want to check it out. And my lewd, I guess, not safe for work uh, haul is Prison School, Volume 9. We're gonna go with soft cover trades or trade paper bags, because um, uh, apparently there's a, an Avengers movie happening. I had to get Thanos uh, Returns, or Thanos, uh, Volume 1 from the uh, Jeff Lemire uh, run. This is uh, the first six issues. I'm missing uh, the second trade, and then the uh, famous Donny Cates uh, run that everybody's uh, so excited about. But I'm really happy about that because it is an awesome book. I did get uh, the Unbelievable Gwenpool Volume 3 uh, totally in continuity and here's the fun thing i got this from in stock trades it was a damaged copy and the only damage i could see i don't know if you can pick it up uh from this video all that waviness that's it i'll take it a couple bucks less yes sir uh i did get the new mutants uh demon bear this is the reprint that came out uh the other i, I really do not know why this was reprinted because the other one is readily available. Uh, the previous edition, I, I don't know. I think it had to do with the whole movie, but now that got canceled. It's coming out 2019. Still, the 
previous book was in print. Regardless, I, I went with the newer trade. I don't know why, but uh, yeah. The Demon Bear. This was from last haul that I forgot to mention. Inhumans Once and Future Kings. From Image, we've got Firebug, Volume 3 of Postal. From Oni Press, we've got Season 2 of Kaiju Max. The only DC trade I got was, of course, I had to do it, Legend of Aquaman. And even though, um, I'm, I'm just going to say it, even though we're not getting uh, many uh, hardcover collected editions for the character of Aquaman in his big year because of his movie, we are getting a ton of trade paperback releases. So I'm really excited about this. So look forward to my Aquaman uh, year in review. Uh, I'm going to tackle this uh, pretty soon in the month of May. Moving on to hardcovers, I am a big fan of alternate uh, continuities and I love the Earth 1 series so I picked up Green Lantern Earth 1 Volume 1. This looks amazing. From Dark Horse it is Ape Sapien Dark and Terrible Hardcover Volume 2. I do believe there's one more copy and then we're done. Correct me if I'm wrong. The infamous now out of print Irredeemable Premier Edition Volume 5. This is the conclusion of the series. It just sucks that Boom had let this book go out of print so quickly, at least Volumes 4 and 5. Stuff from IDW, it is uh, TMNT, the IDW Collection, Volume 6, with Shredder on the cover. Also, I finally finished upgrading uh, Why the Last Band, so there you go, Volume 5 and 4. I finally have one of the one of my all-time favorite comic book series, finally, in a format that I am uh, happy with, because I was not a fan of those trade paperbacks. Gaming-wise, Carl, thank you so much. Assassin's Creed Origins, you were kind enough to send this my way. Thank you, sir. You are spectacular. I, I, I was not expecting this at all. I really, really freaking wanted to play this since last year, but the whole power outages and storms and hijinks did not let me do that. I still haven't played it yet, but I will very, very soon once uh, this whole mess has settled down. So yeah, Assassin's Creed Origins. I love the franchise, and I love studying about Egypt, ancient Egypt. So I'm very, very happy about this. Carl, thank you so much. This uh, was unexpectedly badass. Suicide Squad Hell to Pay. One of the goriest and coolest animated superhero movies I've ever seen. This was pretty damn awesome. I love this. And I had to. I got Season 2 Part 1 of My Hero Academia on Blu-ray. Let's go with figures and pops. Let's do pops. You did see my Crunchyroll unboxing, hopefully, where I got this guy, Elias Ainsworth. I can't believe I left out his last name. I am such a horrible fan. I really don't know if I featured this guy or not, but I do have the uh, common Thanos from Avengers Infinity uh, War. This was an Easter gift from my cousin. Thank you so much. Oh, man, I did get the second uh or i should say the third wave of overwatch pops so you have roadhog mercy which is quite honestly one of the best pops released so far in 2018 you got zarya junk rat sombra and senyata also because i once participated on omni bros live and i used to see it a lot on uh omni dogs collection i finally caved and got myself the uh, Red Lantern Blaze statue, which just looks fantastic. This looks awesome, guys. One, I am a Green Lantern fan and all those spectrums and all that stuff. Two, the Red Lanterns are badass. Three, Blaze is spectacular. And four, I don't know, it just looks awesome. Look at that. There's a little preview of it. I will do one of my schmancy, fancy videos that I do for statues. Hopefully you are liking those because I love doing spotlight reviews on statues. Uh, they are so much fun to make. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that content as well. Alright, so last but not least, let's go with action figures to close off this haul. I had to do it. I love, I freaking love Jonathan Hickman's Avengers run specifically the infinity event and the introduction of the black order all that stuff so i am beyond ecstatic that 2018 and we have the black order in live action cinema with this movie this is from the build a figure thanos mcu wave for infinity war 
And in case you're wondering, yes, I did buy it loose because I, I really did not want to build that Thanos. I just wanted uh, Proxima right here. Let's see if you can, yeah, you can sort of see her. Uh, why did I skip on Thanos? Well, because of this bad boy right here. The Disney Store exclusive uh, seven inch Marvel Select Thanos, in my opinion, uh, one of the best looking Thanos figures. That's not a statue. Comes with an alternate head and it just, man, I don't know if you can see it that well on this video, the plastic and everything, but it looks fan-freaking-tastic. I love this. Easily one of the best figures I own right there. The Mad Titan himself. So guys, that is it. That is the haul for the month of April. Thank you so much. I am very much looking forward to reading your comments down below. And like I mentioned at the start of the video, I'm not going to do the giveaway right now uh, for the 1,000 subscribers, which I am so thankful for. I'm going to do it later, probably uh, in mid-summer or something like that. So stay tuned. But I want to do a questions and answer video. Ask me about anything you want. I really don't mind. I am an open book to you guys. So yeah, it leave leave your questions here or on any video. Just tag them like, hey, question and answer something. It, you'll figure it out. And uh, yeah, let me know as well if you want me to review any of the books I featured. Guys, thank you so much. I think that's it. Yeah, that's probably it. Thank you so much. You are amazing. As always, follow me on your favorite social media platform. Just type a week and geek them, and I am there for you. All right, it's time to go. Time to clean up this mess that's all around me. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'll catch you on our next video.